Good morning, everybody. It's Takedown Wrestling. I'm Scott Casper. Our coverage continues in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. The Nike hot seat has been sent there, and sitting in it is uh, a fine young man. We call him Kevin LaValle, associate head coach. Assistant or associate? Assistant coach. Oh, wow. Did Wernsberger not that, could, not that uh, high up yet. Is Wernsberger yelling? Oh, uh, no, no, he's not. <laughs> I'm sure he could probably hear you being interviewed. Well, after uh, a week after opening your your season against Lehigh, uh, what did you work on that week after Lehigh? What was what was the comments in the room uh, first uh, first team meet? Well, you know, I think uh, I think effort and energy level for for the team as a whole from 25 through heavyweight was was positive, and I think uh, it was definitely a good measuring stick as far as our conditioning level. I feel like we were. Uh, in most cases, in better shape than they were, and wrestled harder for longer. So uh, obviously, that's something that we pride ourselves on here: is uh, being able to wrestle a high pace for uh, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes if we have to. So uh, as far as that's concerned, um, I think we have everything under control and 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 are preparing our guys the right way to wrestle those types of matches. Um, at the same time, there's some technical things that we're uh, that we're working on, and uh, and some position things that we're working on. You know, it was an interesting dual meet and that neither team scored bad points. So uh, there's been a little bit of focus on uh, on top wrestling and and uh, working for back points, especially with that four-point near fall. It is interesting. Uh, back points, no back points by either squad. It just tells you that there's some good stuff going on, well, in both places, really, at Lehigh and at Bucknell, not too far away from each other. EIWA action last year, you guys went 8-1. and one. Overall, your season 15-4, and four, not bad. You returned nine starters from that squad, Coach. Mm-hmm. Yep, returning nine starters from that squad. Um, the only returning starter, that, or the only weight class that we're not returning a starter uh, would be a 197 or 197 pounder last year. Tyler Lister uh, graduated, so uh, Tyler Green is, uh, is actually our 197 pounder this year. So you trade one for one and hope for the same kind of results. Let's talk a bit about prepping for Franklin and Marshall. They're one and two on the season already, albeit a young season, um, having wrestled three duels at Rutgers. Talk a bit about uh, Franklin and Marshall and prepping for this team. You know, anytime you're you're wrestling uh, an in-conference team, I think it's an important match to prepare for. Um, it's a road match, so uh, for some of the young guys on our roster, um, it'll be their first uh, road duel meet. Um, so that's, that's definitely interesting. And we know they're going to fight, they're going to battle, they've got... Uh, a really good 141 pounder and experienced 141 pounder in Durso. Um, so I've been focusing a little bit on uh, preparing Tyler Smith to wrestle him, and uh, hopefully it'll be a good match. We come out of there with a with a good win on Friday, and then we head to the Michigan State Open on Sunday. You know, it's weird, and I'm looking at the the history books, and uh, coach, I can't find uh, a Franklin or Marshall match that you guys won, or am I missing one? Uh, I'm not much of a history books kind of guy. Good. I would suggest you keep it that way. But you guys have been doing battles since 1947. Yep, there is there is one that you did win. But you guys first met in 1947. So you figure this is a, this is one, this is, for me as a coach, a must win. It's definitely a must win. Uh, obviously, it's early in the season, but at the same time, uh, it's a big match as far as conference seating is concerned. And it's a big match. <laughs> As far as uh, as far as recruiting is concerned, uh, you know Franklin Marshall's a high quality academic institution uh, with Division One wrestling as well. So uh, some of the same guys that that are on their recruiting radar on our recruiting radar as well. Coach, talk to us a little bit about the team, the squad that makes up the Bucknell Bison. You know, I think we got a really really good core group of guys. We have some very very good leadership in our seniors. Um, Obviously, our bookends, Paul Petroff and, and Joe Stolfi, who have had a lot of experience uh, at the NCAA tournament and have had, had a lot of success here at Bucknell. Um, but I think the team culture is, is really in a good place as far as uh, they're doing the right things both on and off the mat, um, not only socially but also academically. Um, you know, the last two years we've been number seven in the country in Team GPA, which at a place like Bucknell, that's saying something. Um, so we've got, we've got guys that are here for the right reasons. Uh, they're doing things right off the mat and are also performing um, on the mat as well. You can check out Bus- uh, Bucknell Wrestling online at bucknellbison.com. Uh, of course, uh, University News there. Also, 
Uh, follow them on Twitter, on Facebook as well. It's important. Get your gear now, by the way. You got some real cool gear. Uh, the Nike Hot Seat, our guest today, Kevin LaValle. Uh, Kevin, the team overall looks healthy. Yeah, we're a little dinged up here and there. Um, obviously, we didn't have uh, every starter in our lineup or our number one guy in the lineup in every weight class. Um, Tom Slay, our 184-pounder returning in CLA qualifier, wasn't in the lineup um, in that Lehigh dual meet. And then Joe Stolpe wasn't in the lineup in that dual meet uh, either. So uh, just trying to get a little bit healthy here before, uh, before the new year and uh, continue to work and improve and, and get better. The president of the university, John Bradman, uh, obviously very, very pleased with you guys, as is the athletic director, athletic director, uh, Johnny Hart. And one of the reasons I say please that they're dedicating an awful lot of money, time, and effort, and campus property to a new facility for you guys. Can you fill our viewers in on new facilities? Definitely. Uh, we're in the process, or Bucknell is in the process of building uh, the brand-new Graham building. Um, Bill Graham is our, our major benefactor here at Bucknell. He, uh, he was the guy that uh, kind of spurred that, uh, or definitely spurred the reinstatement of Bucknell Wrestling uh, a few years back, if the wrestling community remembers that. And uh, he recently made a, another very large and substantial donation for the construction of this Graham building. It's a two-story building, 36,000 square feet. Uh, the first floor, 18,000 square feet, houses student health and wellness. And uh, the second floor, 18,000 square feet, will be our wrestling facility where we'll have uh, two 50 by 50 wrestling mats, um, a team locker room, a team lounge, a uh, strength and conditioning area, coaches' offices, coaches' locker room, etc. Wow. And, and of course, Mr. Graham, always believing in hard work, pays off. So there will only be one office chair in the coach's office to share. No more, yeah. no I less. What do you think of that? Sounds good to me. I didn't know if you'd heard that. <laughs> so most of our interviews in the future will require Kevin LaValle to stand up. All right, Kevin, uh, you got married, right? Yep, last uh, last October. Last October, and you and you actually got married in Minneapolis? Uh, just outside of Minneapolis in uh, Shakopee, Minnesota. Okay, and uh, for your honeymoon, you went where? Uh, we went to St. Thomas in the, uh, in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Yes, sounds very similar to me. To my first marriage. <laughs> we actually went to St. Croix and went to St. Thomas shopping. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Anyway, all right, partner, I know you've got work to do. When do you leave for a competition against Franklin and Marshall? We're going to take off tomorrow at 2 p.m. to get down there to 7.30 duel at Franklin and Marshall. And then uh, Saturday morning, we hop on the bus at 7 a.m. Uh, for that long trip over to Michigan State. Going to be great. Going to be great. Coach, I'm looking forward to seeing you at conference. I'm looking forward to seeing you prior to that. And uh, we're going to have a great season. Glad you're a part of it. Uh, fire those kids up. Get them on track. And uh, just tell them what you need out of them. Just tell them. That's all. And then <laughs> teach them. Our guest of the Nike Hot Seat has been Kevin LaValle. Give our best to Coach Warnsberger. We appreciate the time, Kevin. All right. Thanks, Scott. <laughs>